Okay, we're going to be going over uh, a few things today, and what we're going to do is we're going to go over the uh, the aiming selection and the usage of the firing torpedoes for those who cannot do it manually, because I can't do it manually, because like I said in previous tutorials, YouTube has great videos on it. I myself, I, it's difficult to be swapping back and forth between the TDC and the periscope or uh, Uzo control. And I can't keep up with all that. It's too hard for me. But I wanted to clarify some stuff for the, at least for the automatic firing part for people to understand. So yes, I'm back in my personal mod for this. I'm in the middle of other things dealing with this and uh, I don't feel like having to change everything out. So we will just take it from here. Now, one of the things that you need to do when you are in the game is you have to get familiar with ranges because it is true that yet yeah, you don't need to use this thing but like I said before in another tutorial it is ideal usage for other stuff for between the ship its range and speed this angle on the bow is for extra data information that would be regarding to basically like the lane the beam and the uh, the mast for its height so what we're going to be dealing with is that the draft for setting the torpedo to try to get it below the um, keel because what we're talking about here is what's below the water line so that's what we're going to be dealing with and this is how you will be using this because I understand this could be difficult to use so one of the things that you need to be able to know is distance I, I don't want to confuse everybody especially if you're new uh, is distance and how it's read when you see these numbers that are coming up these are going to be in the European numbers so their exact measurements is irrelevant what will be irrelevant for you to know is that six Point seven on this map means six kilometers point seven hundred meters so six kilometers like miles for example and the seven uh, uh, meters would be like feet so it's basically like six miles point seven feet or seven hundred feet but you know there there is a very difference between the numbers but that's neither here nor there what you need to know is that this is kilometers and that is meters because sometimes you may find something and check it and you will misunderstand it thinking oh okay so that's only like about six kilometers and then you're looking through your periscope and the ship is just like walking over your vessel because it's literally only a, a, a in, uh, meters away from you literally so that's what's important when you're coming to this range because it's going to show it to you I'm going to try to use the inputs here as much as I can because the uh, I'm used to shortcut keys so going to lock this and as you can see we have our ship name and the range for this shows 1883 meters so what it's saying is it's one kilometer 883 meters so kind of look at it like uh, over one mile uh, 883 feet see what I'm saying because when you come to this map here where are we at here we go you're going to roughly find that 
see there it is it's about 1.8 and that's what it's showing now the importance of this especially when you're using automatic this is showing you the line that the torpedo is traveling at so that will be its distance line to set the torpedo to go farther bringing it back to go shorter I've shot close range before I guess it's like setting a safety this will allow you to turn it because this will be where your angle is going to be in firing it so when you are more advanced you'll have more of a usage for all this I'm I can't do it so this is how it's going to go down because we are using the steam torpedoes because your information is going to be here the steam torpedoes have adjustable speeds the faster it goes the less of a range it will do so this is the one we're going to be working out of I'm used to manual loading and what we need to do is we need to set this so when you're coming here you can go up to this this means merchant in the English language and then you can scroll through this to find it now or you can just hit ship and it'll just pull it up automatically and then here you take your draft which is 7.8 so the way this reads is 0 which is on the surface and then 1 2 3 4 5 so you go 5 6 7 now as you can see there's no number there's no markers for absolute like how this is showing so you kind of got to take a guess because sometimes you could fire down here still get your hit like on eight but other times I've had torpedoes disappear and go underneath the ship and miss it completely that way because it's too low because when this launches out of the boat it's going to go to the depth you got it set at so right now this is where we're at so everything's ready to go. So you fire. Now, when you're looking at your chronometer, you will notice that there's a red marker. The red marker is the estimated time that it's going to take for the torpedo travel. I believe this is like in minutes and this is the seconds that it's going to be in when this reaches here the red arm here will disattach and it'll lock in a position this will give you about the time period in which that torpedo will reach that ship and then the second hand will go around until it makes contact of course on the real thing you don't have this but it's a video game so it's neither here nor there so as this thing comes up and around it'll turn around and it'll make its impact and we got a hit now even though this was a stationary target this is the basic usage of how you as a player who has no idea how to use this manually and is goes right over your head this is the uh, how you could take advantage of all that and do it for the automatic scale This guy here never goes up. I think I mentioned that in one of the other tutorials. I think Subsim has a fix for this. Okay. 
and that's pretty much how that's done. So we're going to go and uh, now do a uh, moving target, and we'll get back to you then.